When I think of summer fragrances, I think of fragrances that are refreshing, that are uplifting, a little fruity maybe, playful, cheerful, happy, not too dense, light, transparent fragrances. So I'm going to try to touch upon a couple from each category, two from the beach category that have the sun tan lotion kind of vibe. Then I'll talk about the minty ones and the citrusy ones. I have one aquatic and some fruity ones and a floral. First of all, I have two beachy treasures, a, a rather well-known one, Juliette Hezegan's Vanillavites. And this one is a beautiful vanillic tonka based fragrance with a lot of sea salt. So just you just need to close your eyes and you are right there on the beach. Love this. Another one for the tropical category is Soleil Blanc. And this one by Tom Fort, it's just um, also a beautifully suntan lotion kind of coconut bergamot in the opening as well, which makes it all a little bit fresher and doesn't make it too dense, that coconut, not too heavy or too creamy or too gourmand. It's in a similar vein of vanilla vibes but it has a lot of tuberose in here. A tuberose that isn't too heavy. So also suntan lotion kind of vibe, but in a very sophisticated way. I'd love to wear this to the beach. Haven't gotten the opportunity yet, but yeah. Then another really beautiful tropical one that everyone knows is Creed's Virgin Island Water. And this is also very well known, so I'm not gonna dwell too long on it. It's just a very coconut dominant, I'm wearing it on this arm. A coconut, lime, uh, rum, sugar, mojito kind of vibe. Very beachy, but cocktail beachy. Very nice. On myself, on a guy, on anyone. Perfectly, perfectly unisex. So three perfect for beach kind of scents. Next up are the more citrusy fragrances, which are always great in summer because they're very uplifting and beautiful. So first off, we have Riviera Drive, or Riviera Drive by Atelier des Arts. Um, and this one is a very nice aromatic citrus. Now, I usually tend to dislike citrus fragrances, especially when they lean more towards the detergent side of the citrus spectrum but this one smells super natural and true to life and it's yeah it's just beautiful the lemon in this is light and natural and yeah incredibly natural to be honest it's quite hard to discern any other notes but after reading the the notes on Fragrantica you usually kind of see ah yeah I get that a little bit what I get in here is the rosemary, the absence, and the cedar, uh, which makes it a little bit more aromatic. So beautiful, and it has a beautiful trail, this one. So that's always nice, because that's the problem with citrus fragrances, that they, yeah, the longevity isn't always, is never good, <laughs> basically, which is usually a good thing, because we want it light and airy. Next up is another classic, uh, Renaissance by Zerzhov or 1861 as it was first called but when the line was expanded upon they renamed it renaissance rebirth so fresh that you born again um, and this is just a very true to life minty citrus quite dominant on the citrus there's some mint fragrances that i'm going to discuss that are more dominant on the mint which is why i prefer them and this one it's about 200 euros, which is a lot. Um, and I don't mind spending that much on a fragrance. Well, I do mind, but I do it because I'm addic addicted. But for some reason, I have a harder time spending a lot of money on freshies. Is it just me or is it normal? Maybe because they're, they, they're lighter and more, uh, you need to spray more of it that I don't want to spend 200 bucks if I can get another masterpiece for that price. If I did want to splurge on a beautiful 
fresh minty citrus then this would be a good one now everyone knows that the best house by far for citrus fragrances is atelier cologne this is a cold favorite pomelo paradis pomelo means grapefruit uh, grapefruit paradise which is uh, adequately nicely named i got it in this little leather pouch and i could have something engraved in it and i the story time yeah uh, I had this engraved, ça peut bon ici, which means it stinks nice in here. So as a kid, we used to visit friends of my parents in Switzerland who spoke French and um, I used to say, ah, ça peut bon ici, um, when the food was ready and it smelled nice. So I said, oh, it stinks nice in here. And everyone thought it was funny. So that became like a little catchphrase thing. And so I don't know why, but that was the thing I had engraved in this. Fun. Fun little side note. So this is just a beautiful pink grapefruit and mandarin with some mint, but not very obvious mint. Gorgeous classic that I actually do have a full bottle of, yay. Then on to the more minty ones with a very beautiful gem menta y menta i only have a decant like that but menta y menta is a gorgeous minty delight and it'll just help you mentally cool down on the hottest of days the citrus in menta y menta uplifts the mint even more it makes it a little fresher but it's not too prominent that's the difference with renaissance that renaissance has a lot of that mint but it's more dominant on the citrus this one is more dominant on the mint and the, the citrus kind of just enhances that beautiful mint. Um, it has a little bit of jasmine in there and some tea leaf, but that's very secondary, tertiary. Anyway, very, very similar to menta y menta is Mont Fresh. Where is it? Damn it. Mont, oh, Mont Fresh by Healy which um, was number one on Robes' list a couple of times, I think. And indeed, it is a beautiful mint. I slightly prefer Menta y Menta over this one, but they're very similar. So this one's also very dominant on the mint, very, very true to life mint, supported by some bergamot and tea, some tea, tea leaf or tea, something tea-ish. Um, but yeah, very similar. If you want to see a comparison of those two, there's a video we did earlier. Just go check that out. Then, after that one, we have an aquatic, also by Healy, also raved about by Robes 08, and that is Healy's Sel Marin. So, Sel Marin, salt from the sea. And I usually really don't like aquatics, but this is actually really nice. I think it's nicer for a guy. I would not buy a full bottle of this, but it's very nice as an aquatic. My favorite aquatic of all time is actually not in production anymore. It was um, from the Oblique line, I think it was Oblique, by Givenchy. They had play, rewind, and fast forward, and I was crazy about the fast forward. Oh, I have it. Wait, wait. So here it is, fast forward by Givenchy from the Oblique. Yeah, Oblique. And the fun thing about this also, if it's probably stuck, you could take these little pins out and then it's refillable. So you, I had a bunch of these cartridges and I went through a lot of these. Um, I think you can still get them on Amazon for, a very, for 150 bucks or so, which is too much for this because it was cheap. Beautiful, beautiful aquatic and the sexiest smell in the world, honestly. I still love it. And it's 20 years old, this bottle, I think, but uh, still smells nice. I'm not using it because it's precious. If you can get your hands on this, do it. So that was one aquatic and a discontinued one. Then we have a floral. And that's one I also talked about in the Blossom Discovery box that I'll link somewhere. And that is um, by Schwarzlose Berlin. And it's called 1A33. 
1A-33 refers to the license plate or the district of where the headquarters of the company Schweizlo de Berlin is situated. And the blossoms in this one is um, linden blossom, so lion blossom, I think it's called in English. It's very dominant on that and it's gorgeous. So there's a lot of linden blossom trees in Berlin, which is probably why they choose the reference of the whole license plate or whatever that is. But that is just a gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous floral for warmer weather. It's just a beautiful, uplifting linden blossom treasure. Next on the list is another one by Schwarzlose Berlin. I'm loving this line, guys. And that is Treffpunkt 8 Uhr. And Treffpunkt 8 Uhr basically also refers to the nightlife of Berlin, I think. And Treffpunkt 8 Uhr, Treffpunkt means a meeting point. So basically, it's, I think it refers to meeting up at night after partying or in the morning rather at 8 a.m. in the morning after a night of partying in Berlin, a very famous party city. Very heavy on the vetiver in a very, very beautiful way. And it's supported by this gorgeous, true to life, sweet mango, ripe, ripe mango. And the combination of this vetiver, and I'm crazy about vetiver, still planning my vetiver compilation video almost ready i swear but this vetiver combined with mango oh, gorgeous um and i would definitely wear this but i think it's going to be even greater on a guy especially on a summer night party night or just any night just any warm night Treffpunkt acht uhr mango vetiver and then we have Opus Core. I'm gonna quickly respray it. Opus Core, K O R E, by Wilhelm Parfumerie. And this is a fresh, fruity, floral joy. And so it's very, very fruity and very sweet, but natural. And oh, just very feminine, very soft, and would go really nicely on the, with his dress as would 1A33 that I just talked about. Mm. So it smells very natural um, and it smells like it uses a lot of very expensive ingredients. So it has acai berry, raspberry bloom, musk, lemon, violet leaves, sandalwood, magnolia and amber. Beautiful, fruity, floral. If you want to go very feminine, look how oily this is. So it's very concentrated. So yeah, very uplifting. Oh wait, I have Los Angeles. <gasps> oh my God, I have more that I don't have time for. Some additional treasures that I'd quickly like to touch upon are Los Angeles, which is just a gorgeous tropical cocktail vibe kind of scent. Perfect for a night out in the city, in a warm city like, uh, like LA. And it's very, dominant on the pineapple, on the aquatic notes, and um, tuberose. <sighs> very, very, very nice. This is a perfect blind grab, and I could see myself where I've worn this a lot, and I think I'm gonna get a full bottle of this. No, definitely getting a full bottle of that. Enchanted Forest. Oh God, I need a full bottle of that. Just ridiculously beautiful. Hillary from the Bureau um, has been raving about it now recently and she basically convinced me to get it and she's right, it's stunning. It's, it reminds me of a, um, an enchanted forest full of fairies, some green, some sweetness from lots of berries and black currants and I don't know, it's just really, really, really nice. And I can't see anyone not liking that. So please, please, Guys, let me know what your favorites are for summer or just warm weather in general. Tell me what your favorites are because it's hard. It's hard to find a good, good warm weather scent, especially the very warm weather scents when it's like super sticky hot and you just want to lay in a bucket of ice. What do you want to wear then? Let me know. Give me some hints. Help me.
case. Thank you. This is Los Angeles by Galavant. I'm holding a f***ing long bottle. And mm, so I, I hope that that was good enough and bye.